Our father, Bill, was a lifelong grape grower for the Taylor Wine Company. Um, so he had expanded his plantings of French American hybrid varieties for the Taylor Wine Company and was one of the major, bigger growers for them. Um, in 72, he and my mother, Ruth Wagner, took a trip to Europe with some area, Finger Lakes area grape growers. Um, and that was the first time that he had really seen winemaking on a smaller scale. People making wine in the, in the garage or the barn behind their house. And it really planted the seed in his mind that he could do it here in the Finger Lakes. He was thinking 25 years out ahead of everybody else on, on this whole evolution of what this region could be. And I mean, he was extremely proud of the quality of fruit that he grew here. We opened in 79, um, 2019 was our 40th anniversary. We entered these seven wines that you see here in the shot uh, in the New York Wine and Food Classic. And we garnered four double gold medals for our Rieslings. And that was the best showing out of every winery in New York State that entered that competition. And that resulted in us being awarded Winery of the Year. Five generations of the Wagner family have grown grapes in, in the Finger Lakes. We're a pretty good testament to the fact that we're still doing the same. This is how we, we make our living. We, we are growing grapes and we're able to take that next step and take those grapes and, and uh, produce some really fantastic wines and it's in our family's blood. This is what we do and when you grab a bottle of our wine and you taste it, I mean, it's, it's, it's really, there's a lot in it. My father had started the winery, uh, started building it in 1976 after the passage of the Farm Winery Act. I'm co-owner with my sister, so her three kids are back full-time in the business now. And uh, I have three sons, and I, my oldest son is back full-time, and we got two sons in school. So that's nice, having the next generation coming in, and, and really, you know, we've got kind of the best of both worlds. We've got that five generations of, of kind of history behind us and everything and the experience that we've gained through that but uh, we're embracing all the new technology that we can because you know we're you know we're a pretty good sized outfit and you got to have decent stuff and you got to um, keep seeing what's out there for these gains in quality and you know I tell people that you know the true measure of sustainability is you know are are you doing it for you know many generations and you're still generating your your income and your livelihood from that Hard work is, is, doesn't seem like hard work if you're enjoying what you're doing. And uh, we're constantly striving to be the best. It takes the, the, the years, the experience, uh, the equipment, the people. The people is the key. I mean, you can do everything right, but if you don't have the right people in the right um, areas, uh, it's not gonna work. We start by planting a, a one foot long grapevine in the ground and then waiting for that to grow and nurturing it and I mean that that's that's where it all begins and the challenges are different but I mean every day is a major challenge of some sort. There, there is a tremendous amount of work that that people don't see and you know they think that we're we're sipping wine all day and figuring out uh, you know counting our money and figuring out wh what to bottle and, and, and when to, to release it and stuff but I mean there's there's a tremendous amount of work that goes into it the consistency and the quality that we have now is just, it's, it's becoming increasingly more and more every year. We're really, really pushing ahead with anything we can do that's gonna improve quality along the way. I think that's a mistake people make is thinking that they got it all figured out and if you think you got it all figured out then somebody's about ready to roll over you. It's taken 20 plus years and it's going to take another 20 years and at that, after that I'll still be learning and uh, you know hopefully um, my kids and my sister's kids will be taking a lion's share of things at that point and I can I can come and go as I please then and, and work. I I'll always want to be working but uh, a few less hours would be great.